Hey, it's Minnesota Twins franchise episode number 63. Before we get going here on some games, Tyler Chatwood has been optioned to AAA Rochester to try to work on things. He had an 8.10 ERA. Jorge Polanco has been activated from the 10-day disabled list. And Tyler Duffy will move into the rotation as the fifth starter, leaving Trevor May alone in the long relief spot. We're going to check in on Jose Barrios here. He's got a 3.45 ERA. He's 3-0 with a 1.26 whip, 20 strikeouts to 10 walks down at AAA Rochester. He is definitely a possibility in that fifth sp uh, starter spot. Later on in the season, Max Kepler also, we're going to look at him. He's got two home runs, nine driven in and 42 at bats. He's batting 333 with a stolen base as well. So a couple of guys that should be future players on the big league roster. Quick look at the Blue Jays roster. Devin Travis at second base, Troy Tulowitzki at short, Josh Donaldson at third, Encarnacion at first, the DH is Mike Moustakas, Richard Garcia in right, Kevin Pillar at center, and Russell Martin behind the plate, Dalton Pompey in left. Quick look at the bench. Jeff Ames, Darwin Barney, utility infielders, Robert Garcia behind the plate, and Chris Colabello, the backup first baseman. The starting rotation for the Jays, Aaron Sanchez, Andrew Kashner, Marco Estrada, Jeremy Hellickson, and Danny Duffy. And uh, Jesse Chavez, Drew Hutchison, Tim Collins, Jack Castro, Brett Cecil and Aaron Loop are the setup guys, and Roberto Asuna is the closer for the Blue Jays. Not a bad roster overall. They definitely could possibly contend for the AL East, which I believe is led right now by the Boston Red Sox. As you see, Gavin Floyd and Michael Saunders are both on the DL for the Jays coming into the series. It's game number 24. First of this four-game series, the Twins come in at 10-13, and 13, the Jays at 13-9. and 9. From Rogers Center, Marco Estrada on the hill for the Blue Jays. He's 3-1 and one on the season, and his opponent will be Irvin Santana, who's 2-2 two two with a 3.22 ERA. We head to the top of the first inning, a 2-2 count to Joe Maurer from Estrada. Maurer lines this one down the right field line. That just stays fair. Brian Dozier rounds third. He's heading to the plate, and he will score easily on the Maurer RBI single. In the middle of the first, the Twins lead 1-0. We go to the third inning now. Miguel Sano at the plate, an 0-2 count with two outs facing Estrada. And uh, here's the delivery. Miguel Sano swings and misses over the top of the changeup. In the middle of three, we're still 1-0 Twins. Fourth inning now. Bases loaded with one out, an 0-2 count to Emilio Bonifacio. Estrada still on the hill. Here's the delivery from Estrada. Bonifacio drives it down the right field line. That is going to hook into the corner. One run comes across to score, run around third and head to the plate. For some reason, Bonifacio stops at first and becomes a spectator, but he'll drive in two with that single. Marco Estrada, three and a third innings, gives up eight hits and three runs to this point, with still runners on the corners and work to do. Byron Buxton on a one-two count with one out, runners on the corners, Estrada delivers. Buxton slices one down the right field line, that one drops in just inside the foul line. And uh, a quick double there for Byron Buxton on the blooper, and that's going to be all the Blue Jays want to see out of Marco Estrada is he's going to be yanked in favor of Jesse Chavez here. He's making his sixth appearance, an ERA of 3.00. Joe Maurer on now with runners on second and third. It is four to nothing, and Maurer is going to slap this down the left field line, and it just stays fair. It also bounces into the corner. Both runs come in to score. Maurer heading for second, and he's going to slide in safely with a two-RBI double. Irvin Santana now. Bottom of the fourth inning with the Twins leading 6 to nothing. Here is Josh Donaldson, drives it deep to left field at the track, at the wall, looking up, and a nice attempt to try to rob it, but that one's just out of his reach. Josh Donaldson with the fifth home run of the season for him, and the Twins lead it 6-1. to one. They go on to win this one 8-1. Joe Maurer, two for five with three RBIs and a double. Josh Donaldson, two for four with the home run for the Blue Jays. We head to the second game of this four-game series. Jeremy Hellickson takes the hill for the Blue Jays. He's got a 5.55 ERA, and he'll face Tyler Duffy, making his first start of the season. His ERA is over seven. We're in the bottom of the second inning now with two outs. Tyler Duffy tries to drop a curveball in on Richard Garcia, but he drives it deep to right field, and that one is going to be into the second deck, into the seats. Richard Garcia with a towering home run. His third of the season, it's just a solo shot. And the Blue Jays take the lead early, one to nothing. 
Richard Garcia, the Blue Jays' right fielder, with the home run there. At the end of two, one to nothing, Toronto. Fourth inning, Mike Moustakas at the plate. He's batting 265 on the season, Tyler Duffy, with the delivery with one out. And Moustakas drives this one to left field. It's going to be close. Back of the wall, it's gone. Home run, Mike Moustakas. That's his second of the season. Mike Moustakas came over to the Blue Jays from the Royals in a trade that sent Marcus Stroman to the Royals last season. Runners on first and second now. Slapped into left field. Runner coming around third. Here's the throw to the plate. It's up the first baseline. And Pilar will score easily. Dalton Pompey with the RBI single there. Blue Jays lead at three to nothing at the end of the fourth. We head to the fifth inning. Byung-Ho Park at the plate. Park with runners on first and second. He represents the tying run. Here's the pitch. Park drives it down the line. It gets past Donaldson at third base. The runner heading for the plate is going to score easily. That's Brian Dozier who slides in. And the Twins are on the board. It's 3-1 to one Toronto. Danny Santana now with two outs. Runners on first and second. Here's the delivery. Santana skies it into left field. Pompey going back. And he is going to settle under it for the out. Twins strand a pair. It's 3-1. to one. Blue Jays in the middle of five. We go to the sixth inning. Luis Valbuena batting uh, 300 on the season. Valbuena gets a hanging breaking ball. He puts a charge in it to right field. At the track, at the wall, and the catch is made there by Richard Garcia for the Blue Jays. So Valbuena almost gets a hold of one, but the score remains 3-1 to one as we head to the seventh inning. Here is Brian Dozier, and Dozier turns this one around into left center field. That ball is rising, heading back towards the wall, and it is gone. A home run for Brian Dozier. That's the fourth of the season for Dozier. And it's just a solo shot. Cuts the lead to 3-2 to two now. And, that's gonna do it now for the and the Blue Jays are going to make another change, or make a change here. Hellickson will hit the showers here in the middle of the seventh. It's 3-2 to two in favor of the Blue Jays. Troy Tulowitzki at the plate facing Trevor May. Tulowitzki grounds it up the middle. Jorge Polanco on to first, makes the play. At the end of the seventh, Toronto leads 3-2. to two. We head to the ninth now. Roberto Asuna trying to close the game out. 3-1 count to Joe Maurer. Nobody on base, no outs. Here's the pitch from Asuna. Maurer drives it to left field. That ball's carrying deep at the wall, at the track. Gone! Home run, Joe Maurer. And that ties the game up at three. It's the fourth of the season for Joe. And we are all tied up at three. We head to extras. Twelfth inning, Brian Dozier at the plate. And Dozier gets some high cheese. He knows what to do with that. He parks that one so deep into the stands. 448-foot home run. The Twins would tack on another run, and they would lead 5-3, to three, heading to the bottom of the twelfth. Jake McGee on to close it out for the Twins. Ground ball to Polanco, on to Dozier. Dozier turns to Maurer for out number two. So the double play turned by Polanco and Dozier helped the Twins to a 5-3 victory in game number 25. Dozier's three for four with two home runs and two RBIs. Maurer one for five. The winning pitcher is Jim Johnson, Drew Hutchinson with the loss. Kevin Pillar, a big day for the Blue Jays, went three for five with a run. Mike Moustakas, two for five with a home run. Richard Garcia, three for five with a double and an RBI for the Jays. We head to the third game of this series. It's the 26th of the season for the Twins. Down Toronto at Rogers Center, getting Minnesota 12 and 13, the Blue Jays 13 and 11. The Twins have won the first two games of this series. Danny Duffy takes the hill for Toronto. Phil Hughes goes for the Twins. First inning now. Miguel Sano at the plate with one out. Runners on first and second. Top of the first. Here's the pitch. Miguel Sano drives it into left field. That ball's heading towards the wall. Looking up at the track at the wall. It bounces off the base of the wall. One run's going to come in to score at least. The throw to the plate is not in time, and the Twins go out to a one to nothing lead. And Luis Valbuena takes a called strike three. 
The Blue Jays escape without any further damage. It's one to nothing in favor of the Twins. Here is Valbuena again, this time in the fourth inning with the runner on first and one out. Here is the delivery. Another hanging breaking ball this time. Valbuena doesn't sit on it. He drives it over the outfield wall for a two-run home run. A line drive home run for Luis Valbuena. That's his sixth on the season. As Valbuena wasn't going to let that breaking ball get past him. 367 foot home run for Luis Valbuena. And the Twins jump out to a 3 to nothing lead midway through the fourth. We go to the fifth now. Top of the fifth with two outs. Eduardo Nunez, here's the delivery from the Blue Jays. Nunez drives it to right field. Going back is Richard Garcia. He's at the track at the wall. Take a good look at this one. You won't see it for long. Home run, Eduardo Nunez. Off of Danny Duffy. That's the second home run for Nunez. And the Twins lead it 4-0 halfway through the game. Runners on first and second, two outs. Phil Hughes on the hill still for the Twins. And... He induces a fly ball into center field. Catch is made there. And the Twins get out of a little bit of a jam there. Stop a Blue Jays rally. On to the sixth inning now. Phil Hughes at the plate. Troy Tulowitzki in the box. 2-2 two -two count with two outs. And Tulo chases the curveball on the outside corner. Strikeout for Phil Hughes and the Twins lead 4-0 at the end of the sixth. We head to the eighth inning. Trevor May on now. Making his 11th appearance. He's got a 3.57 ERA. Blue Jays have something cooking here. Runners on first and second with two outs. Tulo at the plate again. Tulo grounds it to short, though. Easy play. On to first. And that retires the side. The Twins win this one 5 to nothing. Luis Valbuena, 3 for 4 with a home run and a couple RBIs. Emilio Bonifacio and Nunez, also homer. Miguel Sano, 2 for 4 with a double and an RBI. Phil Hughes, your winner. Danny Duffy, your loser. 4 the Blue Jays. Final game of this four-game series now. Game number 27 for the Twins. Aaron Sanchez on the hill, making his sixth start of the season. He's 2-2 two two with a 1.76 ERA, and he will face Kyle Gibson, who's 3-1 with a 2.84 ERA. So both pitchers with great ERAs could be a low-scoring game here. Bottom of the third inning. Gibson in a jam. Runners on first and third with one out. Here's a drive up the middle. That's going to land in front of Byron Buxton in center field. One run comes in to score on the Tulowitzki RBI, and the Jays lead at one to nothing at the end of the third. Fifth inning now. John Ryan Murphy at the plate. Aaron Sanchez is dealing here. One and two count with two outs, and Murphy swings under the fastball on the inside corner. One to nothing Blue Jays in the middle of five. Only two hits so far for the Twins. Edwin Encarnacion drives one deep into left field, and that one's going to reach the seats. It's going to reach way back into the seats, into the second deck. Tenth home run of the season for Encarnacion, and he leads the American League in home runs. It's 2 to nothing Jays at the end of five. We go to the seventh inning. Eddie Rosario at the plate. He's 0 for 2. Pretty much everybody is 0 for here today against Sanchez. Two outs. Sanchez deals. A one hopper to second. Darwin Barney on to first, and Rosario is retired. Aaron Sanchez still rolling here midway through the seventh. It's two to nothing Jays. Here's Kyle Gibson now. Bottom of the seventh inning. A drive deep to right field. That one's back at the wall. And that one is way out of here. Dalton Pompey, a first home run of the season. Almost 460 feet as he got every bit of that one. And that puts the Jays up three to nothing. At the end of seven, eighth inning, Twins trying to make a little bit of a rally here. Runners on first and second. Byron Buxton at the plate with only one out. Buxton drives it down the right field line. Garcia's chasing it. He jumps, not going to be able to get to it, and it's going to bounce into the stands for a ground rule double. That plate's one run. It's three to one. Blue Jays with the lead with two outs. Joe Maurer at the plate with runners on second and third and two outs. Maurer. Slaps one to the left side. Josh Donaldson up with it. On to end Carnacion. And the Twins rally is killed here. The Blue Jays go on to win this one 3-1. to one. They improve to 14-12. and 12. Twins fall to 13-14. and 14. Dalton Pompey 2-for-3 with a home run. And Edwin Encarnacion 3-for-4 with a home run as well. Winning pitcher is Aaron Sanchez. Kyle Gibson with the loss for the Twins. Join us next episode as we take on the Baltimore Orioles from Target Field.